That's our money, our Nepali rupees, and ex Marine is busy drying it from all the sweat. This man that you see here carries, that whole thing is loaded with eggs. He carries them from the bottom until he is out of eggs. How many days will he walk for, usually, till he's done with his eggs? How long does it usually take? He will walk for a week, carrying that uphill. Him chilly behind us, absolutely gorgeous. Hey. You know, so we got some hardy people here. There's Crazy Sheila. Hey, hey. Uh, wave, Lynn. Lynn from England. Lynn from England is a trooper like you wouldn't believe. Dexter, Mr. Dean is Linda's better half, her other half. Well, we have a lot of our working people. Without them, we never would have got this far. All the wonderful people we started out with that are still out here. Everybody's hiking and stiking. There's my man. He, he carries Sheila's in my backpack yesterday, saved my life. There's James, the producer. One day I'm going to see you read about it. Coming to Gorapani. Pani means water and Gori means horse. And Vimal said that when people came from Tibet with their horses, they used to stop and water them here. About another 10 minutes to tea house number three. Namaste! How are you? This is it, the end of the third day trekking. We did it. Now we'll see what the rooms look like in this tea house. This is tea house number three. They're really, really nice. The views tomorrow morning are probably going to be spectacular when you can see the mountain. This is the kitchen of a very, very nice tea house. She's cutting things. It's immaculate and so clean with the teapot. Very good. This is the early morning scene from our room. I think it's, it's either pronounced Daguri or Dagliari. Just unbelievably incredible.